Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's... When you were growing up, who was your favorite superhero? Back in my day, it was obviously Superman. You like my cape? <laughs> this weekend, we are celebrating two of my favorite superheroes, our graduates and our moms. When it comes to graduates, I am doubly blessed. I've not only got my traditional graduate friends, but then also my PGS graduate friends. And so this spring, I am wrapping up 22 years of teaching in the School of Theology and Ministry here at Southern Nazarene University, where I have watched 384 religion major graduates walk across the stage and receive their diploma, including 13 sensational, spectacular seniors from this past weekend. Uh, it's always a bit anxious when our seniors graduate and go off into the work world, but this year with the COVID virus, uh, that anxiety is like on steroids. And so, seniors, my prayers are with you. When you go to the other half of my life, the other side of my life is the chaplain for the School of Professional and Graduate Studies, I've got even more friends graduating from FSG 84 and FSG 85 and OL 329 and OL 330. All you guys, I'm so very, and all the rest of you uh, PGS grads, I am so proud of you. You guys have got so many plates that you're spinning, work and family and children and social life and then school on top of all of that, and you just keep going. I never cease to be amazed at the tenacity and the perseverance of our professional and graduate study students and graduates. And so Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says, If you'll just hang in there, don't grow weary in doing the right thing, and you will reap a harvest if you just won't give up. And that's what you graduates have done. And so you have my, you have my respect and you have my excitement for the next part of your journey. And then for our moms, our other superheroes, during this pandemic, we've been celebrating all kinds of superheroes. Well, I think it's time to celebrate the superhero of all superheroes, and that's, that's our moms. Um, moms are our, 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 our MEP, our most essential person. Moms are the glue that holds our world together. And so moms, um, let, me, um, let, me, let me give out some awards to some groups of moms. First of all, all those moms who are cleaning and disinfecting your house on a regular basis that's keeping your family healthy. Moms who are finding creative ways to uh, have fun as a family on limited resources. Moms who are uh, trying to be creative to find new recipes. Moms who are learning how to homeschool. Blended family moms. Grandmothers who are doing a dual role of grandmother and mom. Foster care moms. Moms, wives who have said goodbye to loved ones during this difficult pandemic time especially single-parent moms who do all the other work and then do it by themselves, the hardest job in the world. I'm thinking about moms who are quarantined in senior care facilities. I think about moms who are on the verge of homelessness if some things don't come around. I'm thinking about moms who somehow still have the energy to pray evening prayers with their children. So here, here are my awards. The, just all of the superhero moms out there. But then inside that circle, there's for me, there's those 
moms who are in school or moms who have graduated. And then inside that circle are the single moms who do all that they have to do. And then on top of that are going to school. You have my highest respect. And so, would you give me the personal privilege of closing with my mom's favorite verse of scripture? Proverbs 5, chapter 15, and verse 1. A soft answer turns away wrath, but harsh words cause quarrels. Mom, thank you for your soft words. Uh, dads, just a thought. Mother's Day would be a good time to practice our soft words as well. So graduates, moms, <laughs> superheroes, this is your weekend. We celebrate you. Thanks for being with me. Always good to spend some time with you. God bless.